Greetings everyone and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4 USA States Redux Mod, in which I'm your host, Mr. Mocha Love, of course. We're looking at Carson City because, well, we can. Regardless, we've got a couple of, co couple of comments to go through as well as a question. So, yesterday I asked you guys, in what year, really, what year did California become a state of the United States of America? We passed, and we just passed the Defense of Democracy Act, but what year did we become a state, or California became a state? Specifically, September 9th. 1850. So, here's the next question. For that will be answered in the next episode. What is the fault line that runs throughout all of California? As a hint, it's about 750 miles long. It's a very well-known fa fault line that has at least probably one song written about it. Regardless, we must continue with the game. Local security is finished for national focus. The Defense of Democracy Act. We must protect our old values, which is right here. And we get military factories, or we can invest in Hollywood, which would be kind of cool. How about we do Hawaii first? Hawaii should fly under the California flag as an autonomous puppet. This can solidify our position in the Pacific, and the Hawaiian ships could easily give us a turning point in any war that would include naval warfare. And with 258 political power, holy cow, we've got some mobile defense. We'll go with integrated support because we can. And, let's see, actually, someone did recommend that we should probably go with the political backstabber. Which, okay, cool. I asked you guys yesterday who, who, who we should choose. Probably not the Communist Revolutionary or the, the Fascist Demagogue, but I guess overall you guys chose the Backroom Backstabber. Hello, Charles Washington. 1.6 political power every day. Not bad. And Loco Security. And with the Pacific Defense Federation. Very nice. Very, very nice. Just fire world sometimes goes way down, though, which is awesome as well. Radio Detection. Let's see. It is November 8th, 1937. Ooh, we could do synthetic oil, we're doing some tank stuff, we're getting some of this stuff. It was also recommended that you guys let me know that you guys told me, I can't speak right now apparently, that we should use field hospitals, so we are. Cool. Someone recommends that we should send volunteers to the Spanish state? Well, I'd like to, but we only have 15 divisions, and I believe you need at least 30, yeah, 30 to send a volunteer force. So unfortunately, we, we cannot currently. So it is un quite unfortunate. Next up, uh, use field hospitals, get the backroom backstabbers. Someone recommends we should invade Canada. Oh, there goes Pakistan, holy cow. Uh, we might, we might actually invade Canada, so we'll see what happens. I wonder if we can uh, form the state of Canada. That'd be kind of cool. The state of Canada? The nation of Canada. Well, yeah. Canada is usually not a state. Last time I checked. And we have, well, Pakistan here under Mr. Essa. That doesn't... Light tanks. Some Stuart snacks, please. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. If we have a spare factory or two, maybe we could start making a line of light tanks, because we might use them. We'll see what happens. We're making some carrier naval bombers, some carrier interwar fighters, uh, just because I noticed that we weren't making them. And that's probably pretty important to get. So, let's go. Yeah, we'll go do fuel storage already, because we can. Who can we use here? Let's see. Organization 8% defense. I'm probably going to go with organization just because you can use it on attack as well, so that's pretty good. It's almost 38. Artillery would be nice. Motorized would be nice. Ship design is okay. Nav armor stuff is okay as well. We are using it for research, but hmm, I'm probably going to go with infantry equipment. Especially for 1938, we have at least two techs that you could use for that, so that'll be good to use. Cool. So hopefully we can go to war relatively soon. I'm, we're trying to beeline down this focus tree and do the beginning of the Pacific States of America. Uh, and get a naval outpost, a fortress of Hawaii, okay, a military aid to Hawaii, as well as civilian aid, meeting with Alaska, ooh, maybe get Alaska with us, meeting with Oregon, Washington, formation of the Pacific States of America, which sounds really cool, ooh, we will be known as a PSA, we get, move the capital Sacramento, and we get 50% more stability, core all the lines you've taken, take the entire state rather than just the cities for the best effect, form the PSA Department of Defense, okay, cool, establish Pacific States Armed Forces, Air Force, and Navy. Wow. Uh, someone did ask, does this mod have more unique content since it's been re-released? I'm not really sure. I'll be honest. I don't I don't exactly remember how much content there was before. I'm pretty sure California had stuff. Texas had stuff. Florida might have had stuff, so maybe, maybe not. I really don't know. Oh, who is this? People's Republic of Nova Scotia. But Edwards Commune. Okay, off in Hawaii. Cool. 
A Congress member has been brought to an important matter to our attention, Hawaii. It proposed that Hawaii should be placed uh, as a puppet under California, which can provide its protection from the Japanese. Hawaii could say no, but they do not have the, enough infantry to protect themselves from a large-scale invasion. Should we send an army or an envoy? A bad idea. Why involve ourselves in such matters? A wonderful idea. Send the envoy. Yeah, why not? We'll see what happens. And they accept. Uh, the envoy has come back and told us the plan was successful. Hawaii is now a puppet of California. And this opens up new possibilities. Welcome back, Hawaii. Led by Joseph Poindexter. Nice. 5,000. They have two divisions. Two National Guard divisions. So that's good. And they went Democratic. So that's probably why they... No. No, 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 no. They went Communist. Ooh. Okay. Another Cavalry Division. Very good. Very, very good. Next up. We should go ahead and do the beginning of this PSA. Democracy has vanished from North America. What was federalized states of the U.S. are now tribal warlords posing as governors trying to reap as much wealth as possible from the downfall of the U.S. The PSA is a plan by Frank Miriam to secure Californian democracy in the West. It would include reaching out to several nations on the West Coast about a federation under California. And we can't read anything else about this, but something about both the United States. We'll probably try to do the best we can to form a democratic coalition, if not nation, on the West Coast and probably expand further, further East. Cool. Commonwealth of Pennsylvania looks pretty democratic. Uh, People's Republic of Kentucky. Yeah, there's Pennsylvania. It's not a bad flag. Arrow the Third, Mr. Arrow the Third. Oh, cool. Let's see. Nation building the state of why we lose political power quite a bit more. They become more democratic though, which might not be bad. But do they have a national spirit that forces them to become more and more communist every day? Yes. Ooh, yes. So we have two yes. So if we did that, we'd only lose political power. Uh, and slow their spread of communism, which it's not really worth it. I mean, if this like said that we could lower their autonomy, then that'd probably be worth it instead of like getting more democracy support. But whatever. Let's see, we got quite a few days left. Well, and next up, fuel storage. Let's go ahead and grab some of this because we'll probably need to make our own rubber refineries or oil refineries. So that'll be good. Someone said in the comments from yesterday that. California has a lot of resources, and it does. Except a lot of water. I mean, yeah, it has an ocean, but not a lot of drinkable water, from what I understand. I could be wrong about that. Don't quote me on that. But I could be wrong. Cool. Let's keep training our ships. And that's actually a pretty good carrier. Actually, what's the design on this guy? Uh, it's not bad. Not great. But it pretty much serves as what the rule is required for these. We're using carrier fighters, cast, and bombers. And unless this is TNO, I almost never use carrier cast. I much prefer naval bombers, but that's just me. So, that's why I put on these things already. So, we'll get rid of the cast eventually once they all blow up and die. But whatever. You know, whatever. Oh, cool. Japan declared war on China. Well, good luck, guys. You're all going to need a little bit of luck. What else can we do here? Not too much else we can do. Using, like, base game vanilla, after going to play Old World Blues and TNO, Thousand Week Reich, maybe even Fear Reich, Kaiser Reich. It feels a little lacking, but regardless, someone did recommend or say in the comments, actually a couple people said in the comments of the last video that they thought I was playing Old World Blues because I said that New California Republic. Yeah, I could see that. I could totally see that. Mm, we can't go down like we saw yesterday. We can't do War Economy. I mean, we could probably just find other people right now. Carrier Fighters, yeah, let's grab that one. Yunnan joins the Chinese United Front. So with us here, I meet with Alaska, Oregon, and Washington. Form the PSA. And eventually, oh, we can do this stuff. Expand NCR territories. 100 days. Wow. We get a claim on Las Vegas. We go to, lim oh, we automatically go to limited conscription. Oh, I didn't realize that. Just by World Goal is minus 35%. Weekly manpower plus 250. NCR revanchism. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to do this one. But we're going to go expand NCR territories next. That's a long time. 100 days is quite a few days. But then we go to the Baja Expedition. Let's do this. Beginning of the PSA. Frank Miriam has made one thing clear. He wants to make a Pacific States of America, and he plans on doing this by having meetings with key leaders like Oregon's president, Alaska's president, and Washington's president. A Pacific States could combat Japanese aggression and form a solidified democracy in America. And we should keep moving with the idea and see how it turns out. More political power, some more war support, and for the Pacific States of America. Let's expand our territories, though. The only way for the NCR and democracy to stand in this storm is by expanding our territories. With this mindset in full charge, we will obviously need men for such a campaign. And get a claim on Las Vegas. Cool. In which we don't need to press those claims since we'll get a war goal against Nevada anyways. And the faster we move, the probably the better we will do. Just because... How much manpower do these guys have? Two to six divisions. No manpower, which is good. Arizona has quite a bit of manpower. And they only have two to six divisions as well. 
So we do want to get get eventually to some major conflict here in this episode because last episode we didn't get too much conflict. I mean, technically we did get some more territory as a puppet with Hawaii. Oh wait, who owns this? The Midway Empire. Okay, led by John Taylor. All right, so that's cool. Oh, Johnson. Oh, don't tell me they're all independent nations now. Oh, they are, aren't they? Lion Islands, state of Lion Islands. Of course, we have the Japanese up over here too, and they're busy beating up the Chinese. What else is new? You know, manpower not looking great, but yeah, I should not have gone up to limited conscription. Launches of Austria. It looks like Spain is winning against Spain, Spain, and Spain. Of course, they do have Soviet volunteers. What do you expect? It is three eight. I think battleships. Mm. Tempted. I'm really tempted. We're gonna have the industry for it. So smoke generators. I still haven't this. Carlists. And I don't plan to for a while. Maybe someday. What the heck happened here? Whoa! The Hellenic Republic is now democratic and they're purple. Okay. Sure, why not? Venerate the ancient Hellens? Oh, oh, what? They don't have a unique focus. Wait, so you guys have. Turkey has a unique focus tree, like from the Battle of the Bosporus DLC. The Bulgarians do as well. Wait, but. Was. Are you guys pup? No, you're not puppeted. Why do you not have a unique focus tree? Do they already. Uh, something's a little glitchy here, maybe. I don't know. That is unusual. They're supposed to have a unique focus tree. Hmm. Let's also. Let's, let's, let's get some better carrier planes. That'd be good. And tanks eventually too. I'm also building up the central corridor because I believe this is where we get more steel and I want to extract it a little bit more because we're lacking steel already. So that's why I'm building up the infrastructure there as well. Mm. Yeah, we definitely need more steel. Wow. So we're not even halfway through that. Holy cow. All right, so we have four. Nation building, press censorship. All right, so what do we get here? Naval stuff, ship designer. Uh, we might be able to do that. Oh, Appalachia. Oh, that. Oh, Commonwealth of Virginia. Yes, please keep killing. Start killing each other, guys. It makes it easier to take you out later on. If that's a case. We can go ahead and do that. Why not? We're going to research naval stuff anyways. High command. Wait, why is it 187? A demo loyal de democratic army. Wow, 15% more artillery. We're out of manpower again. Armor's not looking too bad. 10% more. Wow. Capital ships. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. We could use mountaineers. Hmm. Grab some sonar as we can. Another horsey dude. Thank you, you. And limit yourself now. There you go. Good. And we're out of manpower. Hmm. Hopefully we get more cores. I like how they like made a lot of these cities into little blocks. Like the Great West. There's a lot of people there. 72,000. Central Colorado. Northeast Colorado. Canyons and Plains. And the Mesa. Cayenta, huh? Flagstaff? What is this? New Mexico, New Mexico? Sangre de Cristo. Mexican Highland. Jordana del Muerto. Low Plains. Big Bend Country. I like the the Oklahoma Panhandle is just a little rectangle. Huh. <laughs> Panhandle Plains. Dallas Fort Worth area. Ooh, smoke generators. Don't mind if we do. Death Charge Thors. You might as well. I've got enough naval to be that. I think we can do that pretty okay, like. I still got about 20 days left for this one. Cool. Let's go and read about the next focus after this. We can meet with these guys, but I do want to go to war, so. Operation Nevadan Freedom. Nevada will be taken advantage of soon, if not under the bear's flag. And we must protect democracy within our area. And Nevada is a very, very good step first. Good first step. Because who doesn't want to go to the casinos in Las Vegas or Reno and have a good time with Nevada? It's a very unique design. I like I like the little ship in Nevada. It's very unique. The Silver State. And actually, yes, look at this. Oh, there goes Czechoslovakia. Oh, I actually declared war on them. Oh. We got five days left to see Loyal Doctrine. That's not bad. We probably should do that eventually. I like that one a lot, too. Skewer the Phoenix. We get a war goal against gods and rich empire. Official NCR states. So we got to take out Baja Expedition. Or California. And then Arizona. And then we can get cores. Actually, look at that. A little bit of lag. NCR revanchism. Oh, actually, we so we get this only for a limited amount of time for about two years. Recruit population 2.5%. More mobilization speed. Weekly manpower. Weekly war support. I didn't realize that too. Less training time and justify war goals times. Holy crap! That is a very strong one. 
Uh, we can do this, I guess, because it doesn't really matter, but sure, why not? Yeah, I'm not sure these guys will really be able to stand up to us, especially with our cavalry here. And right, we're gonna swarm Las Vegas. Oh, there's no other for space. Nice. That's cool. Get more manpower. Take the manpower for now, and then once we're at zero again, make as well make as many divisions as possible. So that when we do hit zero, we still have the manpower. Hopefully, region-wide integration might not be bad, but I think we'll be okay. Ooh, we put up the central quarter. How much steel do we not have? We got one more, or so. Not bad. Not great. I'll take it. We need some rubber. India is having a problem with India, as well as wow. I would hate to be India. India or Pakistan. Ah, oh, Pakistan's actually doing really, really well. There's a lot of resistance down there, though. So, a good amount of manpower. Pakistan has a good amount of manpower. And this India, well, a good amount of manpower. There's a lot of manpower in India. And let's go do heavy ship holds, why not? And depth charge throwers, don't mind if we do. You know what? I'm actually going to do this, too. Get some anti-air. Because that, well, technically, we do have level 4. I thought we didn't have level 2. Whatever. Maybe I'll use him. Wow, Spain is going to win against Spain, too. Oh, poor Carlists. They can't ever seem to catch a break. Frontline suited for intellectuals. <laughs> Alright, well, whatever. Uh, let's see. We have five over 500 pieces of artillery. It's not bad. Field hospitals. How much support going do we have? 200 some. Well, that would probably be too much, right? Yeah. We actually need some motorized as well. So let's get some more support equipment. And actually, I'm going to convert you guys to the 20 combat width guys. You guys are like all 20 combat width. You guys, let's convert you to infantry divisions. You'll gain manpower, infantry equipment would be nice. Cool. A spy agency. A California, a PSA spy agency. What would be a good name? The PSA CIA? That's a lot of letters. That's a lot of letters for the intelligence agency for California. Hmm. Oh, we should probably also stop training right now. There we go. General wait and see. And we'll wait for him to get more upgrades. So let me know in the comments below. What would be a good spy agency name for California? Something something unique to California. Or even the Pacific States. Or just the West Coast. Uh, we could get this one. You know what? How about... We come down here and get all the war goals. The Baja Expedition. The High Command of the Californian Armed Forces have announced a plan to take Baja to protect democracy in the region. It would be a very short conflict since we would be fighting a nation that has no economy whatsoever. Baja has a better chance of prosperity being under the flag of the NCR. They really are trying to force this to be uh, very Fallout inspired, it feels like. That's okay. I'm okay with that. So we attack. And we're winning. I like that. In the meantime, boom boom. You guys go there. You guys go there. Do we have any casts? Yes, we do. Should have deployed this a little earlier before we started fighting, but whatever. Good luck. Alright, well, now we can go ahead and gamble. If we need to, the fall of Las Vegas is ours. Maybe some local entertainment is in order. Yeah, why not? Let's get some rubber processing. We need this more than the actual oil stuff. Hey, that actually showed up. Too bad the body getting circled. And they're in a circle. Now it's Air Force Base, so mind if we do. We've lost 155 guys. We can call in Hawaii, but nope, we're good. We've killed off 11,000, and they're pretty much almost done. We took Reno already, Carson City, Elko will be next. Yeah, you guys just go there, there, there. Uh, we might even need to get Elko, because it's pretty close, but we might need to. Maybe. They have up to five divisions max. Fourth International. How many internationals will there be? Oh, we didn't get them done in time. Winnemucca, huh? Elko, Battle Mountain, Carlin, Jackpot. Oh, and there goes the city of Nevada. Thank you for playing Nevada. I find oh, the Pony Express. All right, so these guys, Tijuana. Oh, you're looking pretty. Oh, you don't have a lot of guys down here. Um. Well, they lasted about as long as I thought they would. La Paz, very cool. Now, California's looking a little bit better. A little thicker in the northeastern direction. Ooh, how about resistance? Garrisons. There you go. Rook? Yeah, we definitely need a better name than Rook. Let me know in the comments below what it should be. Former department. That'd be good. We can we can spare a few civilian factories. Carlos Bands Annex. Cool. You know what? Let's go ahead and grab a few more military factories before we start making more infrastructure. Oh, Las Vegas is not a core yet. So, Pfeiffer, we'll save that for naval bases, maybe. Let's go right there. That's fine. 
integrated support, and we'll do some regimental combat teams. Very nice. 442. Eh, we're not going to use that. Mountaineers. Uh, well, three battalions. Well, we'll get there once we figure out what we're really doing here. Uh, right, declare war on Luxembourg. Okay, wow. And I'm not going to delete that division yet, because we can still use a template, if, especially if we want to make 40 combat with divisions. So, that'll be good. Alright. Field hospitals, how many do we need? 96. You know what? That's fine. Stop making more divisions. Just get some field hospitals on there. Go down to two. There you go. There you go. There you go. Nice. We've got plenty of motorized for now, and we should have this done too. Skewer the Phoenix. With the recent victory in Nevada and the capturing of Las Vegas, the high command of the Californian Armed Forces looks east over the Colorado River. The people of Arizona should be liberated from tyranny and no longer live in such harsh conditions. Well, technically, yeah, they do live in tyranny under fascism, but hey, that's what they voted for. All right, so let's go ahead and use you guys to put down resistance for now. I'll just just put down resistance in the entire state. Not guaranteed by anybody. Thank you. Let's go ahead and see what happens. They have two divisions. They look very, very weak. Oh, I love Baja. California. That's why California should be one giant state. Or in the Union, maybe. With Baja, California. It's in the name. It's California, so we should add them in. How many people actually live in this part? Uh, three quarters of a million people. 100,000 some. So a little less than a million. In 1938, so. You know what? We won't get there in time to really beat them up. Let's do Montana and Idaho, just in case. Yeah, how, how strong are these guys? They're not that strong, which is good. Taxes will be a problem, probably, to deal with. One. Not bad. Okay, they have no manpower. That feels really sad for these guys. I feel kind of sad for them, but they'll be better underneath us. They will be muy buener. Buener? Bueno. Hey, they have two pieces of artillery and a little bit of fuel. And we've got some stuff done for our Navy. Nice. We're going to be unmatched on the Navy, maybe except, maybe except for against the Japanese. So. Oh, yeah. Let's get this stuff done. It's 1938. November. Next up. You know what? Instead of battleships, how about a super heavy battleship? Probably a really bad idea. Ooh, you know what? I'm also going to use... Signal companies, why not? I love using signal companies ever since TNO came out, so why not? We're gonna need way more support companies, though. Heavy ship pull. That's garbage. We want to get super heavies. And over here, since we're doing this anyways, organization, defense, more organization, thank you. Actually, maybe I should save that for when we're at war. Radio interception group. The next one, too. Another division. Thank you. Better anti air. Eh, it's a little bit ahead of time. If it's almost 39, let's go ahead and grab this then. Give him more output. Skew the Phoenix in 12 days. Nice. After that, we shall do official NCR states. We'll hopefully get that one done too. I'm gonna go to the Lloyd Doctor. No, no, no. Let's try to get. Let's go. Alaska. Hmm. Let's go with Oregon just because we are close to them. Oregon is full of valuable resources that could be utilized for the only true democracy left. We must meet with Oregon leaders and talk about incorporating them into California. Yes, absolutely. Just because they're next, I would love to get Alaska with us. They're communists. It's a narco-Alaska. So we'll see what happens. But I think Oregon is a safe bet since I believe they are still a democracy. So that is good. For now. For now. In the meantime, Mountain your Divisions. We're definitely going to need these guys fighting into Colorado and such. So. That's as much as we can afford for now. That's pretty close. Alright, we're done training. Give them about five seconds. Because we do have casts and such. So. And if these guys aren't really ready, then it's just going to be kind of a slaughter. Call all allies in. There we go. Arizona. I've never been to Arizona. Have I? No. I haven't. That's okay. Construction speed. Go, go, go. Alright, so we... Yeah, the Colorado River line here. Mm, not going to be good to fight it against, but that's okay. But, you know what? It looks like we're still doing okay. They've up... Oh, 18 divisions, maybe. Wow. It... Italian diplomatic isolation. The British have been plotting. Okay. Well, we've lost about a thousand versus two thousand, three thousand. I don't know if they actually have that many soldiers, but okay. Why not? I was going to use, use these guys as more of a special forces group to just kind of take stuff around them, but ooh, Goodyear, huh? Chandler, Gilbert, Phoenix, Glendale, Scottsdale, Dale. What a name. Dale Arino. They're definitely fascist. 
Uh, yeah, this is going a little easier than I thought it would. Then again, if we have cast and we have air superiority, it's not that difficult. Nice. Now we've got to get the Mormons with us. I love Deseret. The communist Mormons. You help these guys out. There you go. Anyone else have upgrades? Good upgrades. Traits? Stuff like that? No? Okay. Nice. Yeah, California, a little overpowered, feels like. A little overpowered. But I gotta play as Kansas sometime, because they have a unique focus tree under Alf Landon. Imagine you're playing Ka Kansas, you play Democracy, and you can play as Alf Landon, but you choose someone else. Is there any point to play as Kansas after that? Of course. Of course there is. Ka Kansas is... special? Yeah? Yeah. What do you... K Kansas? People from Kansas. Kansnasians? Kansanites? Kans... Dadas? Uh, I'm not sure. People from Kansas. How the heck do we get in circle here? I guess our attacks aren't going as well as I hope they would be. It's alright though. Machine says decryption. The next level. That becomes hey, a spy spymaster, right? Yeah, we'd like to liberate those guys. Thank you very much. If you guys could help keep these guys in place as well, that'd be good. Yeah, they really want to kill those two divisions. My bad. That's completely my fault. Alright, so we just lost about 20,000 versus 20,000, but we, at least we didn't lose our own territory. Good. Meeting with Oregon. Meeting with Oregon is happening soon. Let's hope it goes well. They refuse. Oregon has refused our proposal of forming the Pacific States of America. They say they will fight back to protect sovereignty if needed. We must have them. We get a war goal. Fall of Phoenix. Another victory for the bear. That sucks. How about Alaska? Since we're, I guess we're just asking them, so... Or we'll just do official NCR states. With the flag of the bear waving under Baja, Nevada, Arizona, we must incorporate them into the official Californian states, as what our predecessor, the U.S. states, did. We could model a federal government for these new states and give them individual freedoms based on what the states need. Cool. I want you to attack so we can beat them up. Not because we like them, we just want to beat them up. Oh man, now they're putting up quite a good defense. Is this mountains? This is desert, it's not even mountains. Good lord, we more cast. There we go. Good good year. Uh, they're close to capitulating, but not quite yet. Give it a little bit more time. Get more planning. Get more experience where it's needed. And get a better organized line. Because we've lost too many guys for this so far. We've got equal casualties, but we've really taken over their, their lands, which is nice. The low... Sholo. Sholo. Huh. Shalom. Sholo. Oh, now we need more... God dang equipment. Signal companies, that'd be nice. 39. Go ahead and grab their guns. M1 Thompson. Very nice, very nice. Can we get more casts? We got about 20 planes here. They're attacking us. Not doing so well for us. That's okay. Um, since they've been on the line, I guess we might as well just take whatever we can get. Sierra Vista. Cool. I guess he's going to move in. If they're attacking us. Fine with us. Super heavy battleship holes. Very nice. Get some more cap. That'd be good. 10% more. Machine system decryption. Government set for schools because we can. What are we constructing? More civilian factories. More good stuff like that. Okay, we got them. Gods and Rich Empire. Well, they put up quite the struggle, I'll admit. Quite the struggle. So, do everything gets Utah. Well, the commies do. The commie branch does, but we don't. So, it's time to spend some PP. And uh, have a good time with the uh, Utah poor people. Utahns. Is it Utahns? Uinta? Yinta? Salt Lake City folks? Oh god, yeah. No, oh, no. Anglo German Alliance. We should be. Oh. When you put it on a historical, things go a little crazy. But once we can core all this stuff, it'll be nice and easy for us. Hopefully. Hopefully. Halfway there. We got about a little less than two months for construction. What is going on in the world over here? Actually, oh, we can't go to war with Oregon right now. You know what? We might as well. Gosh darn Oregonians. How strong are they? South Cascadia. They went. I thought, they went fascist, huh? I thought they went democratic earlier because you guys went fascist. Okay. Washington and Oregon both went fascist. That's definitely a direction I was not expecting. And since you guys are training. That's not enough fuel for all this stuff, but that's okay. 
Uh, let's see. We might be able to just rush them if we do this. Give a few more seconds. Three, two, one. We should get the planes over here very soon as well. Come on, planes. Uh, come on, planes. Mo please move. There we go. Here we go. We're going to do some damage now. Hopefully. Yep, there we go. Nice. I should probably really direct my army better than this. Going to schools. Anti-partisan stuff. Very good. Another person. Smoocher, seducer. Ooh. I'm sorry. If you're a seducer, I've got to go with you. Uh, Arizona. Yeah, that includes Phoenix as well, so that's good. Has anyone else claimed as much territory as we have? Virginia is just taking back the rightful piece of Virginia. West Virginia was a mistake. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, wait, they were puppeted. What the heck? Okay, maybe not so much of a mistake then. Yeah, I should stop doing this. Well, you guys are winning, but we're going to stop the winnings. And be a little bit more conscious of our divisions. Army, soldiers, Big Ben, Coos Bay. Nice. Very good. And we definitely need to hold on because our support equipment is just awful, as well as motorized, so. That's the case. I actually lowered it to one. Probably a really bad idea, but whatever. Driven right claims mill. It's fine. Anti air. I mean, we can make that. I mean, we might do that, maybe, if we get enough factories. Ooh, we need more guns, too. Gosh darn it. Give it a five, then. Falls ill. Oh, and we got the cores. Hey, look at that. Nice. Alright then. Relieve devastation from war. Oh, more factory construction speed. That's not bad. Relieve Nevada. Oh, that's kind of nice. Meeting with Oregon, mission aid. Let's do that one. Why not? The recent wars for the new lands has, with no doubt, caused destruction to local infrastructure, ruined neighborhoods, etc. We should show the new citizens of California that we care about them by repairing any damage that we've caused in the war. Okay. Not a bad idea. Not a bad idea. War propaganda, dispersed industry, Balkans, or Baltic Corporation, Poland seeks that. Ooh, how about a, you know what? Uh, more air superiority. We're actually doing okay on already. I'm going to wait to get more political power first. It is 39. Land doctrine is going okay. Artillery. We need an improvement on artillery. Very good. Fighting in the hills here is not great. Yeah, so we got some more of this, though. Good luck. Okay, so they're attacking. I don't mind attacking La Granda then. Now we might lose that battle. It's fine. Whatever. Alright, you're going there, you're gonna go to Newport then. Ooh, Salem. Stop hey people Well wait, what? Puerto Rico declared one Great Britain. Wait, Great Britain, you exist? They're not aligned. The Reich is looking kinda snaky, and they're fighting the French. This is a weird world. And of all people, Puerto Rico. What did the British do to you to piss you off so much? What the heck? <laughs> and actually, you're just going to stay there. Because these guys are still here. Oh, come on, man. That's not cool. I should really stop attacking. I should really stop attacking. But I like attacking too much. Yeah, we definitely need more cast. We need more factories. Oof. So I should push these guys in, maybe. Construction three. Let's get some more engineering. Good. Better engineers. Oh, yeah. People's Republic of North Carolina, Oklahoma. Nice. Eugene's going to be ours, and we can beat up this one next. Uh, these guys aren't that strong. They really aren't. There you go. Now, we could try to encircle the division here, but I don't think we're just going to push up and consolidate our line a little better than this. Very good. And let's come down here. And let's see. Cap ships. We have no armor right now. It'd be kind of a waste. Artillery. We have a lot, plenty of that. Let's do that one. Board is looking better and better and better. Great Britain declared war in Ireland. I mean, that makes sense. Oh, crap. Now people join the... Oh, crap. Oh, no. We have to deal with factions? Ooh, no, 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 no. I should have disabled that from the start. They want to join... No, 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 no. Oh, they joined the Soviet Union. Cool. 
Yeah, maybe I should have got that game rule saying that people can't... Okay, Ireland joined the common turn. Okay. Well, you do you, Ireland. Luxembourg joined the common turn as well. So now Germany's at war with them, too. Czechoslovakia joined the common turn. Everyone loves a common turn. Loves it, actually. Let's get that modifier going, right? Devastation. You know, keep one on this at all times. 50% is good. We got a lot of factories, though. That's good. Fuel-wise, we're running out. So, send you home. Oh, Salem. Oh, I'm going to war with those guys, too. Huh? Well, we might. We'll see what happens. We've lost quite a few guys. 6,000 versus 18,000. Not bad. How much more map do they have? They have a little bit more. That's the case. We're going to lower this at least one more time, too. That'll be okay. Hey, we beat him up. And if we could attack here, that'd be great. We just, we just don't have enough soldiers. Or uh, supplies, really. It's really just supplies. Attacking over the river is a really bad idea. So how about if we, we go that way? There you go. You might be able to win. Now that's a pretty costly battle. Uh, just go in there, too. There you go. See what you can do. One division here. Can you guys get over there? Yes, you can, which is not good. There you go. And there you go. Can you actually help out here? No, you cannot. Nice, we got Salem. Oh, we gotta get Portland. Portland's all the way... Oh, I didn't realize that Portland's right next to Washington. Huh, I thought it was a little bit more on the coast. Alright, we get that piece of territory. And then we gotta go to war with the Mormons by July 11th, which is nice. And... Why do they keep huffing things? I guess it makes sense in terms of manpower, but still. Virginia used to be a big old state. And so since you guys are wasting your organization, how about we do this? Once the game stops lagging and auto-saving, of course. Nice, very good. More divisions, don't mind if we do. And actually, we got to improve our horsey boys, too, because they're not perfect yet. They're only, like, 16 combat width. Ooh, can we do this? Do we have enough motorized? We do not. Cavalry! There you go. I know we don't have them yet, but we got to use them. Actually, garrisons, you've got military police on them already. Good. There's a glare on my screen. Wow, you are really weak. Or at least you look very weak. If we can just move up there, we cut them all off, which is good. So, excuse me. Thank you. There we go. Go ahead and just kind of pause here, guys. You'll be okay. Nice. Yeah, let's take, we took a lot more losses than we did. But I initially planned to, but it's Oregon. London Conference. Huh. Relieve devastation from the war. Relieve Nevada? Why not? During the California and Nevada War, Carson City faced much damage along with Las Vegas. We need to help the locals by giving them economic aid. Cool, and so we're going to build up a lot of this. Actually, probably should build that up more since we got the bonus for now. Nothing but civilian factories, for the most part. For the most part. These guys will die, and then we'll move into here, and move into here, and here. So we can go to war fairly soon against the Mormons. Utah. I'll get better guns. It's... 39. And I guess a better recon. Actually, military police will be good as well. Actually, we're doing pretty well in military factories. I like it. I like it a lot. We need way more support equipment, though. Not good. Not good. You guys aren't suffering from supplies. Better artillery is nice. 128 days. Extraction. We need more steel. There we go. Probably a really bad idea. Let's go up here. Let's try it. Let's crush this side. Nice. And we might have to reach justify against the Mormons, but that's okay. I keep calling the Mormons. There's more there's more people than just Mormons in Alaska. Alaska. Uh Utah. The Hoosier Empire declared one of the people's Republic of Illinois. Indiana versus well I guess that makes sense. They probably end up wanting to kill off Chicago probably more than just the entire city of Utah. Or Utah. Illinois. My mind is slipping. I apologize. Woof! Let's see. Eh, I'll grab some M3 Lee, maybe. I'm making a few tanks here. Not not many though. Okay, so we got this battleship full, right? Oh yeah, nice. 
We don't have the dockyards for this, but hey, we'll make it anyways. Level 4 is great. Level 5 is 0. Nothing there. That's okay. It's good. Good. Looking good. Super heavy. Super awesome. I don't want to throw on too many super heavy guns just because they actually lower your speed by quite a bit. Uh, 24.6. Let's get one of these. I like those. And... So if we go point oh that lowers it by over three. Anti-air lowers it just by like point three, so I don't want it too slow. Aircraft, even more sub-detection. Surface detection as well. Or more anti-air. That's a lot of anti-air, so. I think that's pretty good. If we can make it, we can. Great. Hey, we cut these guys off too. Nice. Very good. Oh, they're actually attacking us, huh? Oh, these guys are engaged too. Good. And we will attack here once they have lower organization, once they're busy, once they're tidying places up. Cool. Let's go ahead and attack. Good. At this point, three. Two. This is probably a really bad idea. One. Are you guys there yet? Yes, they are. Let's go ahead and move in. This should put, spell the end of them with enough, or at least good enough cast for now. Mm -hmm. Nation building in Hawaii. War bonds are, are actually not bad yet. I like war bonds. Actually, do we have enough war support? No, we cannot do that. Uh, you know, let's go war bonds. That's actually really good for building more stuff. A lot more stuff, actually. And the fall of Olgan. Very good. Now let's go and rejustify the Mormons. 65 days isn't too bad. Mm, no one's over here, huh? Fighting over the river is not very good. You should help them out. Cool, Portland's under attack. The tower next to Portland is also very good. These guys are actually completely cut off, which is good. I just hope resistance isn't going to be too bad. We probably need to get some armored cars as well. Cool, Portland has almost been crushed. We've lost about 33,000 versus 200,000. That's not too bad. The casualty ratio is not too bad. Especially fighting a place as mountainous as this. Cool. So next up, in the next episode, we shall go out with the dudes over here and gals. And then we shall go ahead and do meeting with Washington. Washington is still in the recovery of the Great Depression. They pose no threat to us as of now and have put under the flag of the bear. Economic aid could be given. We must incorporate Washington one way or another. But that's going to end today's episode, guys. If you enjoyed it, consider leaving a like. We've done really, really well. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you tomorrow as we are marching north, south, and east across the U.S. to reform our country. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.